All right, so today we're going to be taking a deep dive into a pairing that I think a lot of people are curious about. Scorpio and Sagittarius. Yeah, it's definitely one that um, brings up a lot of questions. Absolutely. A lot of potential for some serious fireworks with these two. And you've actually experienced this firsthand. You've mentioned this almost magnetic pull you felt toward your Sagittarius partner right from the start. Like you were almost two sides of the same coin. I'm curious, what was it about that initial connection that really sparked that feeling for you? You know, it's funny looking back because it really did feel that way at the time. Um, I think initially as a Scorpio, I was really drawn to my partner's like sense of adventure and optimism. Mm -hmm. Like Sagittarius just has this incredible ability to find joy and excitement and everything. It was really refreshing. And I can definitely see that being a huge part of the initial attraction, that classic kind of, you know, opposites attract energy. But of course, with any kind of cosmic dance, there's always another side to that story, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, you're talking about a classic push and pull dynamic here. Mm -hmm. As a Scorpio, you're naturally drawn to intensity. Like you dive deep into your emotions, your experiences. And on the other hand, you've got Sagittarius who thrives on freedom. They need their space to explore experience the world on their own terms. Right. And it sounds like those different needs can sometimes lead to some growing pains. I know you mentioned in your notes that as a Scorpio, you sometimes worried about your Sagittarius partner's reliability, like their need for freedom, sometimes making you question their commitment. Can you tell me a little bit more about that tension? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's a very real challenge in this pairing for sure. <laughs> Scorpios crave that emotional security. You know, we can be fiercely loyal partners. But Sagittarius' need for independence can sometimes be misinterpreted. Like it can come across as flighty or unreliable, even when it's not intended that way. And then on the flip side, you mentioned your Sagittarius partner sometimes felt a bit stifled by your need for emotional depth, like wanting to talk about everything, analyze every feeling, which is very classic Scorpio, but not always what a free-spirited Sagittarius is looking for. Exactly. And it's all about understanding those fundamental differences right where a scorpio might see you know deep conversations and emotional vulnerability as essential for building intimacy a sagittarius might see that as being tied down or controlled right they need that space to breathe and explore and too much intensity can feel suffocating so it seems like we have this really interesting paradox at play here this constant push and pull between a deep need for connection but also that desire for freedom but it sounds like at least initially those differences were also a big part of the attraction yeah definitely i think in a lot of ways scorpio and sagittarius offer each other exactly what they maybe didn't even know they were missing mm -hmm. you know scorpio brings that depth that passion the willingness to really go there emotionally and sagittarius brings a sense of adventure optimism a much broader perspective. It's like they each have this key to unlock these hidden depths in the other. I'm curious, with all these differences, did you find yourselves having these really interesting conversations, maybe even some, you know, friendly debates along the way? Oh, absolutely. All the time. Both Scorpio and Sagittarius are definitely truth seekers at heart. Mm -hmm. Constantly, you know, questioning, mm -hmm. exploring, trying to make sense of the world, but their approach is so different. Scorpio tends to get really laser focused on a subject, analyzing every little detail and nuance, whereas Sagittarius is much broader. You know, they're drawing these connections, looking for wisdom from all these different sources. So it's almost like Scorpio provides that super sharp focus and Sagittarius brings that wide angle lens and together they create this more you know, comprehensive understanding. Exactly. Like yeah. a perfect example is travel. Imagine a Scorpio and a Sagittarius planning a trip. The Scorpio might spend weeks researching like the history and the culture and every little hidden gem in a single city because they want to fully immerse themselves. And Sagittarius might be thinking more about a multi-city adventure, experiencing a little bit of everything. And ideally, they find a way to blend those two approaches together, creating an experience that speaks to both of their needs. Easier said than done there, right? Especially when you're talking about the long game, navigating those differences long term when it comes to things like needs and communication styles. Yeah, you're hitting the nail on the head there. That's where the real work comes in. I think for this pairing to really thrive long term, both partners have to be willing to compromise and to really try to understand where the other person's coming from. So we've talked about that initial spark, the potential clashes, the really interesting conversations, but how does this pairing actually keep that flame alive over time? especially for a Scorpio who thrives on intensity. How do you avoid falling into a rut, keep those embers burning? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it, for any couple? 
But you're right. It can be especially important for Scorpios. You know, we need that sense of excitement, that aliveness in a relationship to really feel fulfilled. Right. It's got to stay spicy. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, it doesn't always have to be about these grand gestures or anything like that. It's more about those little ways you can keep discovering each other, even in just the everyday moments. You mentioned that your Sagittarius partner loved exploring new places, trying new things. Did you find that sharing in that sense of adventure helped keep things exciting for you as the Scorpio? Absolutely. I think one of the greatest strengths of this pairing is the potential it has for like growth and expansion. Yeah. For a Scorpio who can sometimes get a little too comfortable in their own little world, you know, a Sagittarius partner can be like a breath of fresh air, hmm. always pulling them out of their comfort zone encouraging them to see things from a new perspective. So it's about finding ways to keep bringing in that newness, that element of surprise and discovery, even if it's just as simple as trying a new restaurant or something. Exactly. Little sparks of spontaneity. That's what reminds you of why you were drawn to each other in the first place. And I imagine for the Sagittarius who values their freedom and independence so much, it's about finding ways to honor those needs, but without compromising their relationship. Exactly. And it's not always easy. But for a Sagittarius, you know, little things go a long way. A heartfelt text message, a spontaneous act of affection. Those things can really reassure a Scorpio and help them feel secure. It's a delicate dance, isn't it? Balancing your own needs while also making sure you're tending to the needs of your partner. Do you have any advice for our listeners who might be trying to navigate those waters themselves? Communication. That's key. Yeah. Just like with any relationship. But with this pairing in particular, it's really important to be mindful of each other's communication styles. Because a Scorpio's directness, while it comes from a good place, it can sometimes feel a little intense for a Sagittarius. And on the flip side, a Sagittarius's tendency to keep things lighthearted might not always land with a Scorpio who wants to go deep. So it's about finding a way to speak each other's language, learning how to express your needs and your love in a way that resonates with your partner. Exactly. It takes work. There's no doubt about that. But the payoff can be huge. I mean, when a Scorpio and a Sagittarius can truly understand and appreciate their differences, when they can meet in the middle and create that space where they can both be their authentic selves, that's when you get a truly passionate, dynamic, and fulfilling connection. It sounds like a really incredible journey full of twists and turns and unexpected discoveries. What's the biggest takeaway you'd want our listeners to walk away with today? You know, as insightful as astrology can be when it comes to understanding relationship dynamics, it's really up to the two individuals to do the work, to create a love that truly works for them, embrace the challenges, celebrate those differences, and never lose sight of that spark that brought you together in the first place. Beautifully said. And that is a wrap on this deep dive into Scorpio and Sagittarius compatibility. Thank you so much for sharing your insights with us today. It's been a pleasure. It was my pleasure. Thanks for having me.